Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're going to have fun. We're going to get out of the stress and the doldrums or whatever we're into. We're going to be making some birthday cards. Look how fun. Pen and ink, ink and wash. Um, simple, easy birthday cards. You can make them more advanced if you want to, want to but we're just going to play with some simple ink and wash techniques and that's that. This is a real time tutorial. So, you know, I'm talking as I'm painting and drawing and I come up with this great idea for this card. So you'll see it at the end. You have to watch to the end to see how that one came out. <laughs> and I have some other ideas from some great cards if you're stumped and like birthday cards and things like that. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Also, check out my Patreon. I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go to support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And the Patreon members get a extra so you get a traceable for this um, if you're a patreon member so this is an extra card Boop. so if you have any questions like i said leave them in the comment section but without further ado let's get painting some fun birthday cards yes all right so let's go over supplies i have a couple pieces of arsh 100 percent cotton cold pressed paper i don't think for this exercise you need to have arsh you can have any kind of paper you want it actually fairly inexpensive paper. I just had to have these around. So, you know, like this is like a four by six inch and you're gonna need some craft paper. It can be any color. I have some black around here. It could be blur, purple, blue, pink, whatever color works for you. So, you know, and if, if it's inexpensive paper, you can use the whole thing as paper. You know, you don't have to use, I'm just taking the arch like this because it's, you know, cheaper to go this route. Uh, if you have inexpensive paper, you can just use the whole thing like that. So this is super, 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 super easy. Five second ink and wash, you know, birthday cards for friends or family. And you're like, ah, oh, you want to, you know, you, while you're painting, why do you have to go out and buy cards now? You can be create your own. I'll, I'll probably use just this number eight um, round from Velvet Touch Series Princeton just to wash in the color, but we'll be using the sharpie pen this is the uh, ultra fine point if you can get a thicker one do a thicker one my thicker one is too worn down when they're brand new the thicker one they have a nice point this one's kind of eh, it's okay it's not bad if you want to have like a like a thicker kind of like cartoony kind of look be kind of cute you know so simple shapes simple doodles you know i'm sure you guys could do this <laughs> it just squares and little doodles for presents you know presents and candles you can do balloons you can do hats uh pieces of cake whatever you want to do so um i'm gonna do a candle and i'm gonna do presents the candle i'm gonna have it go vertical and the presents i'm gonna have go horizontal and basically i will zoom in a little bit with my sharpie pen i'm just going right for it you know because i'm used to drawing all the time <laughs> you're just making these rectangular shapes and they don't have to all be aligned they go up and down so you can have a long one a little short fat one maybe a medium size one a taller one taking my time on this paper Kind of really want the pen, like the ink, to stand out. And then just do a little, a little line here, and then I'm gonna make the little flame. So that's just kind of like a little teardrop. You can make them bigger and smaller, connected to the line, of course. Woo! Now what I'm gonna do for the teardrop shape which is like the flame a little bit make a couple of lines maybe one or two you could do a whole bunch just one maybe a whole bunch on this one and maybe just one or two on this one all right and then for the inside now i want this a little bit darker so i might go another pass because remember this paper has a tooth to it so if you have a smoother paper you're going to be using like a hot press or just a plain old vellum mixed media paper. You don't have to worry about that. Um, simple lines, dots, squares, whatever. You can make it look like 
the candle is dripping, all kinds of fun stuff. So we can do like a little drippy, wingo, wingo, drip, it's dripped down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then do some little lines just underneath that for like some de decorative um, doodling, or uh, diagonal lines going across like this on a diagonal. Really simple. This is really, really simple. Polka dots. Make your polka dots bigger if you want, smaller, tiny, tiny. Just some simple lines, you know? Just really, 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 really simple. <laughs> Can even leave it plain. I'm making this a little bit wider. Do some patterns if you want. So I'm just doing like angles and dots. And then once that's all drawn, then you just take your color. Now, I kind of think it looks cool just the way it is, just black and white. Just that itself, two seconds. That took, what did it take me, two minutes? You, if you could draw that and write happy birthday, right? So we could do that right now. We can write happy birthday on top. Just do birthday, happy, happy, any way you want. And then birthday, B, I, R. It doesn't have to be super T. There you go. Look at how goofy mine is. Happy birthday. Isn't that silly? All right, so for color, you know, think of the colors, right? We've got all these bright colors here. Yellows, pinks, reds, blues. Play around with that. A ah, little orange for the flame. Let me get this a little bit loose. So yellow, orange for the flame. If you want to color it in really simply, I'm just going to go right over that. See, that's what's great about the Sharpie is it won't bleed. You can go right over it. There's yellow. Now I think I'm going to do is put a color in and then do like another color on top when it dries. If you wanted, to, this is what's great about the arch paper. You can do bleeding on this one, you know. You don't even have to do any of these drawings. You could be basically doing wet on wet. You know what I mean by that. I'll show you in a few minutes. So meanwhile, the candle back at the farm, we'll do some nice bright colors. I have this opera color here I love. It's really intense. Put that over my palette. I don't know if you could see that. It's hard to see everything. It's really like a bright, intense pink. Now, depending on who you're giving it to, it could be more in the pink tones, it can be more in the blue tones, or it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be any kind of a gender kind of color. So I'm just gonna do bright pink. Look at that opera color. And now we do some nice blue. Ultramarine blue is really great blue. I think I'll do blue right, blue right next to it. I'm just gonna go right over the polka dots. I don't have time to paint those in and go around it. You can do like a nice light blue and go on top of that with the darker blue, you know. And this is where you can think about color harmony. If you want to have, like I said, hot tones or cool tones. So I like the blue and you always got to think about what's going to go next to that. So maybe a green, because that would look nice next to it. So I have peacock blue here and I'll mix my yellow to it or purple would be nice. Purple could be really nice. You can make it look like a rainbow. Depends. Oh, they could be all neutrals. Have fun with it. So here I'll add some green stripes. And it doesn't have to be green upon green. It can be green in another color, green and purple. Really, this is like two seconds for this stuff. And this one, I'll end up doing like red. I have cadmium red light. It's a nice bright red. It's like an orangey red. Huh? Gonna mix that with some magenta. Make it really like a red red. It's looking too orangey. So mine's gonna be more like a rainbow. And you don't have to do every. It looks like a candy cane. So I'm gonna have to put like a funky color next to it so it doesn't look like a candy cane, right? <laughs> That look really funny. 
I'm gonna go back with that opera color and then I'm gonna add purple to that. So opera with ultramarine blue makes a fantastic purple. Just like that though, I think that's kind of cool. And by the way, do you ever think about painting in some of the letters? So you have the B, the R, the T, I'm sorry, the D and the A. Uh-huh, you didn't think about that, right? You get a little funky. You go inside here and paint in the letters. That alone, you could do a card. I didn't, I just thought of that for you guys. A card just with big letters and you're filling in the little these little guys my paintbrush is dirty I must clean it just filling in I'm thinking I would have used peacock blue I'm gonna use double color whoops See how cute that looks? Let me do a little one up here. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. Don't have to do that. But it's cute! So then I have the purple. I'm going to go in between this pink. I think for this pink one, I'm going to make just a darker pink. The same color just highly concentrated without all that water well it's almost like that one and you can actually try put it over the blue it makes like a purple just go real fast for the red it does look like an orangey red right I'm gonna have to go back another pass yeah it dried so dull that I don't like it. I want it bright. A little drippy drip. What I suggest in the drippy drip, if you're going to do a drippy drip, just take your marker. I mean your marker. <laughs> you can use markers too, by the way. Paintbrush. And just do a little line. Kind of highlighting the drip. I'm going to go back over this because it's so dull. Boop. And then the green. I'll just make another darker green. It'll be kind of boring on that one. Simple, kind of goofy, ink and wash birthday candles. And sometimes the goofy doodles are the best. So I don't want this looking like a candy cane. I'm just going to grab some orange, some bright orange. I would, or you could do pink, but I think orange works better. So it doesn't look like a goofy candy cane and then in the flames you could just add like another color now you can fill all the way in or just kind of loosely fill it in like I'm doing here where you still see some white uh, I'm just going to go in here and add a little orange stripe that's on the left side I don't know if I necessarily like this little drippy drip I might have to make that a color so I'm going in and adding some orange I didn't like it white. Yeah, kind of funky. Look how fast and simple and fun that was. <laughs> I think it's cute. Why not? So for the presents, I'm going to do it on horizontal. And again, we're doing simple shapes, squares. I mean, this might be remedial to you, but to some people it might be fun. So you're just doing kind of squares or rectangles. Mine's a little off. Got a tall one in here. And then a little small, medium size. And then you can draw like a nice bow. Do a little squirrely scoop down. And you can do one with the line coming down here. Bigger bow. Like that. And you can do another one with the skinny line and then the bow up here and then go back make a crisscross and do another bow with the little swoopy line simple right 
And then some of these you can just do stripes going across. Whoops. Again, just keeping it black and white is kind of cool. You know, you can do polka dots on this one. Diagonal lines on this one. Keep them bright and fun. Oops. You know, and then a line down here. I might do some wider stripes on this one. That's that. Um, then you would maybe write happy birthday here. This different, a little bit different. I'm not necessarily going to color this one in. Making it different. Than the last one. Again, just black and white is kind of fun. And then we're just washing in any kind of color you want. Just grab all the colors again. Yellows, you know, bright yellow. We didn't do bright yellow uh, candle, like we just did the flame. So just throw that color in. Stripe. Pink, that opera is like my favorite. I'm gonna grab that one. Just gonna throw this color in real quick. You can make something fun real quick. Let's do this. Uh, peacock blue is great. If you don't have peacock blue, use turquoise. It's basically the same thing. Look how fun that is, that color. Yeah. So, you know, you can paint it if you didn't want to draw it like this, but it's just another look. I mean, I have a birthday card tutorial on there. It's all painted. But I thought I'd do some ink and wash today. It just has a nice look to it. I think it's kind of fun. Some people don't like it, but I love it. It doesn't look a cartoon. It just seems like different. So I would use maybe the bright green here with the turquoise. Look kind of nice. Just fill that in. I don't know about this one. I'm not going to do red. Maybe just step bright orange. And actually, the orange I'm using is actually not watercolor. It's gouache. But you see, you can water down gouache like watercolor. And you can just put that in. That's the beauty of it. It's going to fill this whole thing in. Since orange and blue are complementary colors, they really kind of pop because they're right next to each other. And I think I'll use that orange again with my yellow stripe. I'm going to go back over my yellow, do another pass because it looks sad. Sad. I just fill that in. Yep, it needs more yellow, bright yellow, basically right out of the tube to make it pop. And that orange is kind of watered down. I could really just use concentrate it as it comes out of the tube, the gouache, and it would be really fun. And I think what would be fun for this one would be yellow. Really fun. And for this one, Probably that bright pink. See the color tones are not mostly, they're not rainbowish. They're more in the, a little bit of hot, a little bit of cool. And you can go back to this pink one and just do the pink dots. Listen, you don't even have to make this pink. You make it blue, purple, whatever color you want. And then I'm gonna go use my orange. Play around with, woo, that's intense. Kind of cute. <laughs> that was like two seconds, really. I mean, just fun, simple, goofy. And then you just mount them on whatever stock you have. Whoops. There we go. I had some tape on this one already. 
just tape it. This one has some tape, just to show you. Woo. See how simple that was? It's kind of a cool look. Now, if you like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you get the bonus uh, for the creative. <laughs> I have a um, traceable there. It's just the tools that we use so that you can do a birthday card like that. Drawing is great. It doesn't have to be presents and candles. It could be um, paintbrushes, whatever. And remember I talked about the loan. This is a crappy old piece, so I can just go ahead. So you can draw a present. And this is why you would use this kind of paper. So then you just get this wet in this section in here. This is we can do the wet on wet bleed. It'd be kind of fun for a present. And we just start bleeding in color. Take some of that peacock blue. Move it around, get it wetter. It's this really funky kind of looking present. Just like we did with the hummingbird. Same thing, do with this. Just giving you a bunch of ideas. Bleeding in all these blues and purples and Sorry, there's a blues and yellows. I could put some purple in there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. This is how you can play with wet on wet and do like a really cute little simple present. That's actually better than the other one. So you know what? I think I'm doing one more card. <laughs> See how the boo-boo? So say you made a mistake with this like paper and you're painting like, oh, what am I gonna do? Don't throw it out. Yeah, look at this was a mistake. I got paint on there. I'll do another one. Just these presents are kind of goofy, right? So look, as I'm talking to you, I figured out I can just fix that. So I'm gonna put some water in there. See it activates because it's watercolor. And then I can bleed other colors in there. I'll bleed orange in there. That orange is really cool. Go back and take that pink. I'm running out of pink. Oh, I used a lot of my pink. Maybe some red. Cool as that. So they're like tie-dyed presents. <laughs> you can make it as serious. Now I'm doing wet on dry. See, that's wet on dry. Then I'll take some clean water. Nope. Sorry, that was still got pigment in there. And move it up in here. Then you can play with you can practice what your gradient wash is. I have a gradient wash tutorial. Flip it around. And that could be a cool present. So do a little practice squares of your color swatches too and turn them into little presents. Well boom. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Let me do a different letters. Isn't that cute? How long did that take? literally like two seconds that's just another look you know once that dries you can go over and change it up but ink and wash this is a lot of fun it's a way to play with watercolor and create some cards at the same time so i hope this was fun i hope you enjoyed it, it you know if it was too goofy and remedial for you i get it no problem sometimes we just have to have fun and that's what it's all about and actually just like me, see intuitive painting and painting live and doing this stuff. I do this real time tutorial. I kind of like that one the best. <laughs> it's off, you know, register, it's goofy, and it took two seconds and it's my favorite. How do you like that? My plan ones, I don't like. I love that one. And that's how it comes out. Sometimes that works that way. And you know, I just had a great idea for you guys. Do the birthday words and remember how you call it in the B and the D and the AR? Do this and those. That would look ridiculous. Matter of fact, I feel like doing that right now. 
<laughs> I try it out. Hope these ideas were great. Take care and have a great day and enjoy your watercolor and your drawing and all that. Have fun with it. Don't get stressed. Okay, take care. Bye.